Yeah. All right. Oh, as usual, Ashley. Yeah. Starting to, she's starting to toss. I think. I think she's just so confident in her punish game, and like she's earned that confidence through all the all the people she's put in combo videos and what she's been doing to people in tournament today. Even like. Uh, she took her game against Extra to win the set when the like the stocks were. 1-1, one, one, but the percent was 93 to 0. Mm -hmm. Right, so... Oh, oh, nice weak knee right there. Not closing out that uh, that punish, though. Managing to get that, like, the... the slow to hit. Mm -hmm. And that roll-up, perfect from Godly right there. Like, that's the difference. Like, closing out your punishes versus not. Like, Falcon can still cover that, like, side B, but instead of rolling up, I'm um, doing... Um, Oh my god, Me? catching that, catching that jumps. Um, but instead of like, for instance, rolling up versus Ichigo side B, you, you jump to cause the long animation and then you stomp. Might be a but bit yeah, of nerves. Yeah, catching that, catching that uh, movement though with the knee. Guess a sour in there. Mm -hmm. That. Yeah, no, you always know Godly's like gonna down me there. You know what I mean? To, to snap the ledge, but also have the hitbox out right there. Let me see the up air. Good DI away from Godly. And the side be back. Not able to oh, punish she, it right there. She, yeah. Had that, a cover, but... Yeah, it was good positioning for it, but just no just no execution. And yeah, Godly, smart to, to cover the, the, one, the one spot where it gets to go wooden and again grabs the ledge. Perfect timing. Oh, you really thought he was gonna get hit by that. <laughs> he was like super um, anticipating the, the hit right there. And again, Godly not getting too antsy in years prior. We definitely would have seen him like die second in a situation like that, but just waiting it out. Catching a jump there, but mm -hmm. no jump is for Godly. Oh, Godly definitely many, getting a little swingy here. Many a jump was red, but no oh. jump. Just threatening that dare right there, and then still managed to get that dare right there. That stock trade. Stock trade. Yeah. It's all the momentum in the world right now. And they both wait. Mm -hmm. The F throw. That's one thing that's, again, been brought back to the Ichigo meta as of late. Like, one thing that kind of left the meta for no real reason, and now it's back. Oh. Oh, and barely clipping her right there, but doesn't manage to get anything off of it. And the platform, oh, yeah, the the platform slide off, saving uh, saving Godly from the near from the near knee. Oh, I Up think she knee. wanted. Re yeah, the reverse would have been very useful. Down yeah, good, good any, catch any, on the di in right there. Any side. Of the game. Yeah. Any, it's anybody's game right now. We know we know these players punish games. If we had that if we had that stat about openings per kill, we we we'd see a very low number, you know, compared to everybody else in this top eight. Oh. Oh, and clutching it out. She's her. God and Godly going down 0-1. We'll see what the counter pick is. I don't think this will be a toss war like it was last time around, but I mean, you know how stuff two players are. Three, two, Game two, Battlefield. Yep. Godly, one of the players that's definitely down to just like actually counter pick a stage, not just run it back blindly. Oh, already getting, already getting messed up instantly. Just, uh, just off rip right there. Um, but yeah, this is Godly's like most winningest stage. Like statistically, I'm pretty sure. Um, in top eight. He basically wins most of his games on uh, Battlefield versus extremely good players. Oh, the rapid jab there? Mm-hmm. 
And that just covered a lot of options, that down beat. Yeah. Like, Astral would have definitely had to do a very precise up beat if she wanted to avoid that. Yeah, and, and all of a sudden, like, the lead is back in Godly's favor after getting opened up immediately at the beginning of the game. Oh, trying to land that knee right there. Barely missing that jab reset, and that, that could have been huge. Or that could be huge, rather. Yeah, oh, oh, both of them were. Hook in there. Yeah, after we've been doing that reverse up B, which is like, takes the Falcon's hand the other way, so it's harder to hit. Very smart. Delaying the delaying the uh, get to go right there, but still managing. That's what still managing to get around it. <clears throat> Catching that dash back right there, and that's gonna be the stock. Again, Godly maintaining like a decent pace, still considering like the early deficit, but um, you're gonna need to to kick in a high gear right here um, if you want to close it out. That side B, I feel like you should be able to tell from the get go that the side B wasn't, wasn't gonna work. Mm -hmm. He grabbed the ultimate very clean. Yeah, but that's that stuff too classic. Both players just like holding shield in that situation. And Godly managing the poke under the stage. And Dare uh, Astral right there. That's gonna be huge. He said, Falcon, what you got that hand out for? What you doing with that hand, my boy? Yeah, like it's that and no like straight up no opportunity to tech it and everything when it's that low. Yeah, that's something Godly has also added to his repertoire, just talking to him about like um like paying attention to what people do after jab. So that way so that way you can um hit people like dash tech and other fake stuff um in those weak hit stun situations. And after how the chance to she gets back on stage and gets some started. Yeah. No, this is anybody's game still, like we talked about it last game as well. Oh hard reading the, the tech roll with the Raptor boost. That could be huge. Like Golly knows his win condition here is keeping after a ledge. Both these players are just like unable to keep up with each other's decision making when it comes to the uh, tech chase situations. Which is typically where both of them like get a lot of a lot I'm of sure. percent out of. Oh, that get up attack sending the other way. Oh, managing the trade right there, barely missing the grab. Oh my god, that was huge. That definitely would have been death. And now Astro has yet another chance. But that up air. Closing it out, and now it's even. Now it's tied. Both of them on the board after two close games. And now that set started, you know you can't can't count anybody out till till it's one one uh, till both players taking a game, um, or you can't like really assess uh, both players' ability to win the set till both players are taking a game. Rather, yeah. definitely said that wrong at first, but going into game three. He had another flat stage. Interesting, it wasn't banned by Godly, but I mean, Godly doesn't mind. You know what I mean? Barely lost the game one, and uh, I'm sure would prefer this to, to TOS, right? So. Oh, the clank right there. Both of them kind of swinging, but smart by Astro to shield there, but doesn't get much out of the, the grab she got earlier. Now it's just all Godly. Oh, hard committing to the dash tag right there. Oh, covering that roll right there, but not managed to get anything out of it right there. Up air. Yeah, and that's going to be the stock. There. Oh, and she was trying to cover um, the long animation. And Godly is one of the players that will jump there. Like, we'll straight up act at a disadvantage in those situations where Astro's been taking advantage of everybody um, just kind of chilling, right? I think since, like, you, especially since you want oh. to recover with 
And that forward smash. Oh, and just goes out there to cover it. Yeah, no, this game is all godly so far. Astro has it's to choose something. It's always been a weird saying to me. Like, it makes sense, but it also doesn't make sense. Like, saying it's someone's game to lose. Mm -hmm. The godly with the kind of self destruct right there. And while it does look really rough for Astro right now, you gotta remember, like, the, the opening to kill ratio for Astro to stop bait. Like, all it would take is just one really strong punish, but Godly's not gonna allow it. I oh. think he's just for a grab here down there. Oh, this chase! Oh my god. Oh, hard reads that as well, but the, the jump away, not getting hit right there. And now it's an even game. Now it's an even game. And I've definitely seen Astral hit crazier clips on, on Godly on this stage. So there's always, it's always possible. Like I've literally edited a clip in this exact scenario before. Up throw up air. Or back, back air. Back air, barely living. Oh, and a smart last snap from Godly right there. Going up in the set. Trying to eliminate the the people's champ, Astral, right here. And similar to Hexagon last year, in the same fashion, right? Um, but let's see if Astral can change that narrative going into game four. Just runs it back, yeah, as she, as she usually does. Um, no, no reason to switch it up for her if, it, like, honestly, just hitting harder would, would get her past what she needs to. Um, Kind of get some start off this Raptor boost. Oh, the standard? That's the Astral standard. It doesn't look standard, but she hits those punches every day of the week. Finally looking yeah. a little bit more alive in this in this set. Get another punish, getting it started. Oh, barely Godly. misses that punish though. And you know, Godly's gonna take advantage of that. You can't give Godly the window. That's the thing, even when, you, even when you're on fire versus somebody and you're starting to get something going, you can't like give them that opportunity to gain their confidence back to to get back in it at all, right? You can't give them freebies or else they're gonna, they're gonna take back all the momentum and it's gonna feel like you never, you never had any to begin with. Oh, trying to catch that shield drop with the dare right there. That's kind of a godly classic. Yeah. Okay, up tilt, up tilt, there. Wait and catch the positioning, like, down oh, tilt. Yeah, and Astral relying on the, that side be a lot as of late. This is spot where, yeah, like Godly wants Astral and is getting all the advantage from. Oh, catching yep. that weird tech right there with the with the gentleman and just evening it up. And this, if this is an, if you're an Astral fan, this is exactly what you want, right? Like. Um, Astro trying to send us into game five, trying to send us to overtime. Because again, especially like, I mean, Godly's not new to this, but he, he's like new to being the number one player in the world. Like, you get put in the second set, you never know, right? Um, On the up tilt? Oh my and god. That's a, what a conversion. Oh, she tries to get the balloon. Oh, and she does hey. get the balloon. Hey, she's her. Don't forget. Don't forget. Down B? Yup. And that's the godly, another godly classic. You know what I mean? But godly, trying to eliminate Astral on her, on her tournament stock right here. The people's champion will beat everybody. Oh, oh, barely missing that. Barely missing that need. That could be huge. That's so huge. Oh my God. I'll get oh, some started. Oh, throw and down. catching the DI way and the yo and the ledge grab. Godly has turned into a closer. I don't want to hear the narratives anymore. He's a closer. He is. He is clutch. He's crunch time. Godly. As thousand year blood war approaches, 
we gotta this this season of godly is different right 